Perfect. All right. All right. So yeah, in the uh, today's stream, in today's lesson, we're not gonna do anything crazy. No charting like the last time. Um, we will just hold on a sec. We will just talk about why you would want to use this technique of trading. So pattern, price, and time. Um, and we'll talk about WD again. You know his his autobiography. Why it's important. Why he's such an important figure in trading. And um, <clears throat> you know his achievements. And 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 basically you can make your own decision on why you should be following this kind of method. So I simplified basically. I simplified everything here for you guys. Um, so it's a little bit simpler for you, but if you want to go really in depth, you'll do that on your own time. There's going to be lots of classes. So today, we, like I said, we're doing white pattern price and time. Uh, but in general, we're going to have so, so, so many classes, guys. It's uh, At first, I thought I can fit it in into like, you know, seven days. But it's pretty much impossible because we, we have to go over so, to, to, like, like there's going to be multiple, multiple weeks even month um right now we're going to do white pattern price and time right um then later on uh i will do basically gan theory in a nutshell right so i will do the basic of gan the basics of gan theory the law of vibration um then i will get in more into details of patterns more into details of price more into details of time um then we'll do a lot of math mathematics so we're going to be squaring the price range with time uh, we're going to do like uh, advanced price and time techniques. We're going to do GAN theory and its application to trading, right? Then chart basics is what I showed you how to format a chart already a little bit, but we're going to get into uh, more for, uh, chart formatting. We're going to get into proper chart construction. We're going to get into charting um, charting programs for GAN. There's a few of them. We're going to get into types of charts, and we're going to summarize it all. Then we're going to do a class on patterns, trend indicator charts. Um, we're going to do like minor trend indicators. We're going to do middle, like intermediate uh, trend indicators. <coughs> we're going to do main trend indicators. We're going to do crazy stuff, guys. Um, then we're going to do how to like stop orders. Um, then we're going to use all that. I'm going to show you how to use all that information um, that we generate from uh, these uh, indicator constructions and apply them. Um, then we're going to do like swing chart trading. I'll show you how to do all that. Really, you know, like we're going to do review of all everything we've learned. Um, then we're going to uh, do like the, I'll show you the two ways of how to determine a change in trend. Um, I'll do, I'll, get, I'll go over the rules with you for swing trading, for swinging chart negatives. Um, then we're going to do, uh, you know, patterns, the other chart formations. We'll do like the, I, I know I told you the charts don't, the patterns don't really exist, but I will show you how in this case, in case they do or what they mean, instead of just simply going, oh, this is a triangle, the, uh, uh, like a ascending triangle is going to go down. You know, we're going to do the double bottom, the double top, you know, prolonged uh, rally or break rule. We're going to do balancing swings. We're going to do signal tops and signal bottoms. Uh, we're going to go over other important formations, um, other popular patterns and stuff like that. Um, then we're going to go price, you know, horizontal support and resistance, which why it's not the best case use. Uh, we're going to do, uh, you know, percentage retracement price levels, other um, like retracement levels, multiples of bottoms and divisions of tops, <clears throat> pivot price calculations. That's what I do to you guys all the time with you. You know how I'm like, okay, we're going to catch the top. This is a pivot point four. This is pivot point five. How we just caught one um, uh, the other uh, the other day. Was it yesterday that we caught it or was it today? I can't remember anymore. Uh, then we're going to do moving averages, right? Then we're going to do GAN angles. Uh, we're going to do time. We're going to do, um, you know, natural cycles, anniversary dates, seasonality. We're going to do uh, square charts again, swing charts again. Uh, then we're going to combine it all in one of the classes. And we're going to uh, basically learn how to forecast uh, with angle combinations, with seasons, uh, with gravitational pulls time indicators and uh, retracement zones and stuff like that. So this is, I tried to explain all this to you guys. I thought I could explain it in a week. This is, this is unexplainable in, um, you know, in, in a week time. Um, first of all, I didn't have the course ready for you. I thought I could draft it up easy, but then I thought, no, I'm, I'm this is, I'm summarizing it way too quick. I need to do an actual course for you guys. So this is going to spread out over time. So by the time it's done, and you guys are done with this. You guys are going to be self-sufficient in 
forecasting the markets, finding the tops and the bottoms, how I do all the time and how I'm able to catch them. You'll be able to do that as well. All right, you guys excited or what? Type in chat. <laughs> Here. Boop, boop, boop. All right, guys. So, are you familiar with the saying? You know, you ever heard someone say, "The more things change, the more they stay the same." So, basically, you know, this rings true in the world of, uh, you know, technical analysis, especially using WD GAN. Um, there's always new tools. There's always new indicators that are being developed every day, every year. Uh, you know, but the fundamental concepts of market trends, you know, are higher, high, higher highs and higher lows um, have remained consistent over the past century, 100 years or more. This has not changed. So, like, unfortunately, many, what's up, Prince? Leia? Unfortunately, many traders today, guys, uh, be, they become too fixated on one aspect of trading analysis, right? Whether it's like pattern they simply just use the pattern whether it's price or just using the price which is mo most of the time it's smc they're using just the price points or this is liquidity zone or 21,000. but they don't look at timing they don't look at patterns um so and 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 then the things as such as time you know a lot of uh a lot of traders use time as well uh more like elliott waves and stuff like that but all of these traders they neglect to balance all three in their approach so I will simplify these GAN techniques and I will show you how to apply uh, you know the, 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 the most important themes of WD GAN uh, or WD GAN's work uh, you know and you will achieve success in the market without relying on astrology and and these complicated tools um, if you will want to get into financial astrology later on that's totally up to you uh, I'm just I'm not gonna teach that uh, this is more of like a, a hobby thing that you can pick up after but it's very interesting and after what you will learn today maybe that's something that you guys actually want to get into uh by astro as, as financial astrology not a, a lot of people even heard about it um i know this but if you've heard of people using like moon phases and stuff like that um there's actually way more depth into it than just you know indicator on trading view such as moon phases which, which you can check you know new moon or stuff like that so by understanding uh, the combination of pattern price and time you can avoid common trading mistakes you know and make informed decisions that lead to your guys's success and if you master these concepts you probably will find financial astrology you know fascinating and enjoyable subject so we'll see so despite the claims of you know all new trading analysis programs you know they're introducing like these novel indicators uh cypher and lux algo and you know to analyze the markets you know i personally have reached to a conclusion that there's truly nothing groundbreaking or innovative uh that can be done in in the markets today it just can be instead these supposed you know discoveries they can all be categorized into fundamental elements of pattern price and time that's all it is. It's it's using either a moving average or they smooth out the lines, but it, it, it's essentially come. It all comes from the basics. So what I'm gonna teach you here, guys, is where it all comes from, why it's like that, and how to combine it all three together: the price, the pattern, and the time. So, um, you you know you heard traders talk like, and they say stuff like this: I had the right price, but was a little too early. You know, we say that all the time. Or I got an entry due in four hours. I just don't know if the market will, will stop or keep falling. You know, traders say that all the time. So these are the problems that can be created by only using price or only using time or only using pattern. When you use all three, these questions will never come up, guys. They, they will never come up when you use all three. I studied all types of analysis, like over the years, and I studied disciplines of Elliott and, and, you know, and Dow or Doe, however you pronounce it. And each one of them has its problems. Like I said, it's either price, time or pattern. Always the same thing. SMC, um, you know, it's, it's, it's using the basic concepts, but it's not relying on time at all. And this is why, 
so many people fail it's that they know they think that the price has to go up and and logically if you look at the price it's supposed to but time doesn't make sense or pattern doesn't make sense and this is why some of the smc trades are not working out for these people you know they're like how we studied this for so many years everything was supposed to work out manipulation well, it's not manipulation most of the time it's just because you didn't take time into consideration you didn't look at pivot points so gan is the only one who combines all three the only one i will show you a picture guys um i will show you guys a picture um so this is gan format of monthly down john charts when he was alive so you see on this picture the angles right this is the patterns we have the price on the right side so our x and our uh, our y and our uh at the bottom we have the dates he combined all three so you could see how the levels are working out in his predictions how there's patterns how there's price and how there's dates in his forecasting i will teach you how to do all of that so in essence the goal you know of this free course is twofold firstly i want to educate traders on how to utilize the analysis tools available for, like simply using you know open high low and close um and, and and close candle data secondly to guide traders in categorizing their tools into patterns price and time <laughs> and i will show you the benefits of utilizing all three in combination you know to enhance your analysis you know and, and, and trading strategies ultimately the aim is to encourage um you know readers and, and, and traders and hobbyists in this space to dive deeper into the study and experimentation of you know pattern price and time um, there's plenty of stuff to still learn from WD again and I will also explain to you why that is it's not fully fully discovered in a way because because of him as a character and you'll find out why because I'm gonna start getting into who WD again was exactly um, and you will see why it's so important to learn so do you guys know a lot about him type in chat if you guys even know who he is or am I the first am I the first person who you hear who WD uh, talk about WD Gan so much in your lives very little all right so he wasn't he wasn't the first market analyst but he was definitely one of the most successful ones you know he came up with this new way of analyzing markets and claimed that he could predict market moves and set records for leverage um, for, for, for leverage and accuracy. And he did set crazy ass records. So he was born on June 6th in 1978. Uh, uh, sorry, 19, 1878, guys. He was born in 19th century. He was born at a cotton ranch in Texas. And he was really, really good at math from, from early ages, like super good. He started trading when he was 24 years and quickly realized that his early early strategies, just like most of you guys, are based on you know hope, fear, and greed, and that it wasn't cutting it for him at all. So he started uh, to study mathematical laws and time cycles and 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 market, especially in re in relationship to price and time. Um, he he like traveled to other countries to research and develop his theories. So uh, Gan worked really, really hard to making to making thousands of charts like every day uh, for different stocks, commodities. Um, you know, studying historical prices back in the day. Um, he started really early, and he started learning from the very beginning, right? So, the uh, like the the can a lot of people say that candle analysis and stuff like that dates back to like the 18th century, like 1700s. That's when it started, like the the average and stuff like that. But this is the first true method. That was developed so <clears throat> he was convinced that that past market activity could predict the future activity so anything that happened on the past he knew that will happen in the future so he moved to new york 
in 1908 and opened bro brokerage offices all over New York, right? Within a year, people realized that his success wasn't just luck. You know, he developed uh, the new idea about stock market uh, and its movements and believed that most traders didn't really know what the fuck they were doing at all. They did the, the, the traders at that time, they were just either manipulating the market with a lot of money, uh, just on calls, you know, and, and, and inflating the prices or dropping the prices. That's all they were doing. He not, he noticed, WD again noticed that there was cyclic recurrence in rise and fall of stocks and commodities and studied natural laws, you know, to develop the trading strategy, natural laws of attraction, of physics, of, of everything together. You know, Gan was so successful in his trading that his success rate was 92.31%. He at one point he turned $450 into $37,000 in a day. In a day using his strategy that's back in the day the 37 like you have to understand that cars started at like six hundred dollars you could buy a house for three thousand dollars you know he was able to compound money really quickly and his performances were unparalleled in the history of of, of uh, wall street you know um he was still a subject to risk just like any other trader you know with leverage trading like just like anyone else you, you could still lose and he understood that um so a little bit more cool facts about W.D. Gann. So, um, his trading record over in over 25 markets days. This is real analysis done on him. Gann made 200 in, in, in 25 market days. Gann made 286 trades, 264 of which were profitable. So, in 25 days, in less than a month, he traded 286 trades, 264 were profitable. That, that is just insane. Insane. <coughs> um, a, uh, a colleague of Gan once said, I once saw him uh, take uh, th $130 and in less, and this is a quote, and in less than one month, run it up to $12,000. He can compound money faster than any man I've ever met. Um, uh, and that, that's what the press wrote about him in the newspaper. Uh, this was, you know, this performance was unparalleled in the history of, of stock market back in the day. That was insane. Even now, like now, it's still nobody can beat that. Um, so what he did is he issued like annual forecasts that were tracked by newspapers back in the day. So from, with his predictions from uh, for 1921 to 1923, three years. They were all accurate, to completely accurate. Three years. In 1921, he predicted a sharp decline in the market for September, which came to be known as Black Friday. He is the one who predicted Black Friday. He, uh, I'll show you a picture, guys. He did, um, uh, he did shit like that. So he did press releases where he would, show dates i know it's a low resolution image it's very hard to find his work and his articles uh he would literally say which day and then he would show price decline and the shit was completely accurate he would be like august 10th blah 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 market is going to go down july 5 august, market is going to go go up december 8th market is going to go down until the 31st then we're going to see a pivot point that's exactly what i'm doing in my forecasts here guys um, i'm using his his methods to provide these pivot points and to forecast you with accuracy days ahead months ahead weeks ahead so um he again believe it or not was also successful in predicting significant like historical events right he predicted the end of world war one he predicted uh the um you know abdication of the kaiser so in the first world the king of fucking germany he predicted the um election of presidents wilson uh, wilson and harding he wrote several books during his career, including the, uh, the Truth of the Stock Tape, which aimed to help traders analyze market activity, and The Tunnel Through the Air. It's more like autobiography, if you guys want to know about him more. He also predicted the occurrence of World War II 13 years in advance, and also described the stealth, bom stealth bomber that U.S. has, the, the stealth bomber, 61 years before its invention. So, you guys still think WD again? It's just some bullshit. <laughs>
And this is all real fact. Can you imagine predicting World War Two thirteen years before World War Two thirteen years before it happens? Sixty three years before the stealth bomber is uh, sixty one years sorry before the invention of the stealth bomber. You know the specific details he didn't get into uh, the, regarding the stealth bombers. We don't have like blueprints of it, but he, pre he predicted a lot of shit like that using his theory, not just the markets. So, um, he, like I said, he wrote uh, several books, you know, and uh, and he wrote some courses, you know, explaining his discoveries, and he invented special tools as well. He to to calculate prices and time, uh, which I'll show you these uh, these tools that he invented, right? He he taught seminars and he did home study courses. So he was basically like a like a guru back in the day, like modern days gurus right now. They charge for their courses. Uh, they were extremely valued by traders. You know, his seminar and the calculator tool was being sold for five thousand dollars, and his home uh, home study commodity course was fifteen hundred dollars back in the day. You know, it's it's it was pretty crazy money. So yeah, uh, that is who W. D. Gann is in short. Um, he he wrote a whole bunch of letters too, uh, predicting commodities like grain, price of grain, and and food and stuff like that, and they all came true. So that's all that's all for today's class, guys. It's it's a short one. I just wanted to give you a, a run through of if you guys even want to study him, um, and if that interests you, and if it does, we're gonna keep going. Um, I I did uh, you know the course overview in the beginning. I'll post this on YouTube. You guys can go over it, see if that's something that interests you. But that's what I'm gonna be teaching from now on. More people need to know about him. He's very undervalued man over here. You guys agree? So just like here, guys, that top that I predicted, I knew that here's our uh, here's when our market started, right? Cycle, four days ago, we started at high point, we went down to low point, and then we started going sideways and up, and up, and up, and we went through one quadrant. We overextended into the second quadrant. And we did a really low four, which was pretty hard to notice because it looked like we were moving sideways. With that four, we moved into five and we dropped right on the same five. So this was a manipulation candle, which could only be noticed by GAN because we knew about time. This is a real life example. We knew that we're going into other pivot points quadrants. We knew that time is running out. We had to make the, because we didn't even know this was four. The only reason how I knew this was a four here, it was here, sorry, the previous candle, is because this couldn't have been three still. This is going, time-wise, it doesn't make sense, because that would mean our pivot point three is already halfway, more than halfway through the set, through the quadrant. We need to make two more waves here. So by this, I could predict basically a wiki candle. Wiki candle to the upside because we were running out of time and then a drop to make a five because we have to make five here already because our three had to be here, our four had to be here and we would have to go on a five if it was a normal unmanipulated move. So that's how you can use time in order to help you understand where you are on the chart and that you're supposed to be making moves but you're not. Moves always supposed to happen. Pivot points always happen. Whether they're delayed like this and manipulated so that regular traders who don't know GAN theory won't know what's happening. You would never know that you're running off time if you didn't understand time. If you didn't understand the pattern and if you didn't understand the price movement. You can't be just going sideways in such insignificant moves for so long without making some kind of big pivot point. Markets always go up and down, up and down. And this was bullshit here. It was very hard to predict. And I guarantee you, people that don't know how to do it, SMC, 
nothing nothing would would help them how how will how would an smc help them with this liquidity to predict this crazy candle right here if you didn't know time how would you know it's coming right here or that it's coming in the next couple of hours or that we're overdue and it's supposed to come you know you wouldn't be able to this is why it's important to combine all three methods price pattern and time cool guys Thanks for coming and listening, guys. I'm going to upload this. And uh, <clears throat> the next class is going to be <clears throat> basically Gantt theory and Lechel. So uh, like I said, it's going to be the basic of Gantt theory, the law of vibration, pattern by itself, price by itself, time by itself, squaring the price range with time, uh, advanced price and time techniques, Gantt theory, and its application of trading. That's what we're going to – we'll we'll try to squeeze in um, a few of those in the next class, but that's how we're going to be our next chapter. Basically, I don't know if it's all going to be in one class or multiple classes, probably multiple classes. Um, but that's going to be our next thing that we learn. All right, guys, thanks for coming.